In this video, we're gonna talk about high equity versus weaker starting hands. So when we're talking about our preflop starting hands, we can group them into these two broad categories of high equity hands and weaker starting hands, and that's what we're gonna talk about in this lecture. So what is a high equity hand? Well, a high equity hand is a premium and strong preflop starting hand. So this is gonna be hands that have a high amount of equity preflop, and they also retain their equity well post-flop. Now on the flip side, there are weaker starting hands. And like their name implies, these hands have a lower amount of equity preflop, and they rely on their ability to make strong draws and then turn those draws into strong hands post-flop, such as flushes, straights, and sets. So let's go a bit further and let's talk a bit more about these two different types of hands. So let's first take a look at the high equity hand details on the left. So when we talk about our premium and strong preflop starting hands, these typically are gonna be what we call our Broadway cards. So hands such as ace jack, ace queen, king queen, ace king, pocket aces, pocket kings, pocket queens, and so forth. And it can go all the way down to our medium strength pocket pairs. And we'll actually take a look on the next screen. We'll take a look on our final slide of a breakdown of our high equity hands compared to our weaker starting hands on a range chart. So why are our Broadway hands and our strong to medium pocket pairs high equity hands? Well, these hands have a strong amount of equity pre-flop, and they're also gonna retain it well post-flop as well, typically because they'll make top pair or better. And when I say top pair or better, it could be top pair, it could be a set, uh, hands such as king, queen, ace, jack, and so forth, they can make two pair, they can make flushes, they can make straights, they can also make over pairs as well. But even when they just have one pair, such as top pair with a really good kicker, or top pair with a top kicker, or an over pair, in a heads up situation or a three way situation against a couple of opponents, they're gonna do a good job of retaining their equity. And so we typically call these hands, we call these high card hands because they are, if we look at the different values of hands on a range chart, these are gonna be the high value hands or the high card hands. So that's the high equity hands. Now, weaker starting hands. So the name's a bit of a misnomer we call them weaker starting hands because they have a lower amount of equity preflop. Now, this doesn't mean that in the total sense that these are garbage hands and that they're weaker in the absolute sense because they're not. If we just look at the raw equity, they're not gonna have as much equity as a high equity hand. Meaning when I say equity, the probability that they will actually win the hand if it goes to the river and goes to showdown. These hands rely on something that we call implied odds. And I'll talk about this in the math section of this course. And implied odds, it's the odds of us potentially completing and making a strong draw. And so that's why these rely on hitting draws, making draws that we can play aggressively. And when we complete those draws, such as our flushes, our straights, and our two pairs and sets, whatever our draws may be, that we get paid off from this implied odds. So that's the difference between the two. So let's go a bit further. Um, and I don't think I need to talk about this third bullet point because I kind of already talked about it in regards to everything else. So with that said, let's go ahead and let's take a look at this range chart. So here's a range chart where we're taking a look at high equity hands compared to weaker starting hands. And so in the dark gray, we have high equity and in the lighter, almost kind of a brownish color, light brown, we have the weaker hands or weaker starting hands. So again, these are going to be our high cards or high value cards because there are Broadway cards. They can win the hand with top pair top kicker or top pair good kicker. They can win the hand with an over pair. They can hit sets as well as some of our weaker starting hands down here. They can also make flushes and straights, but even if they just hit top pair, they're typically gonna win. Versus on the flip side, let's compare, for example, let's say ace-king suited versus ace-three suited. 
So H3 suited typically isn't going to win as much because it's going to be dominated because it has a weak kicker card. But Ace King or Ace Queen and an Ace Jack, the kicker card's usually going to hold up against all these other weaker aces. So that's why they retain their equity much better than these hands. And then in terms of a hand such as maybe 9-7 suited, again, a top pair typically isn't going to win. If our top pair looking at our hand isn't the best top pair on the board or if it's easily out kicked by hand like even as weak as ace nine then again of course it's going to run into some issues and it's not going to retain its equity so that's why these hands let me get rid of all this highlighting that's why these weaker starting hands rely on implied odds and making draws and completing those draws or playing those draws aggressively in addition to making some we'll actually we'll call them hidden hands so if you have a hand for example and let me get my highlighter back out again if you had a hand such as pocket fours and your opponent has a hand such as king queen suited and the flop comes king queen four then it's hidden because what's the likelihood that you actually hit a set Again, and let me get rid of my highlighting again because I want to make sure I highlight a couple hands. Let's say that we have a hand such as eight sit suited and we have our opponent has pocket queens and the flop comes a straight, but they have an overpair. So maybe it's a 10, nine, seven where we flopped a straight. Again, this is a hidden, very strong hand. Or what if we flopped a really strong draw that allows us to play that hand very aggressively? Or let's say that, that the draw is, let's say that our opponent has pocket queens, and the flop is jack, eight, six. Again, another hidden hand. So that's where these weaker hands come into play, and that's where the value is. And you'll see that as we progress in the course and we take a look at how we play our different ranges, pre-flop and post-flop, um, and it's especially with some of these weaker hands and our draws. So that's our introduction to high equity versus weaker starting hands. The main takeaway from this is that I just want you to understand the difference between the two because as we start looking into the different ranges that we play in different situations, I want you to understand what portion of that range is going to be our high equity hands and what portion of that range is going to be our weaker starting hands. And in regards to the type of hands that they'll typically make that are going to win a majority of the time, as well as how we're going to play those specific hands in certain situations as well once we get to the post flop section so if you have any questions let me know if not thanks for watching and i'll see you guys at the next video